Our policy is tat paratena ninamalam. You can purify the activities of the senses, uh, being engaged in Krishna consciousness. Then senses will not disturb you. Uh, if you want to control the senses, you have to control the tongue first of all. Uh, then you will be able to control other senses very easily. So you give uh, tongue, the engagement of chanting Hare Krishna, and for tasting Krishna Prasadam, you will find that your other senses are already controlled. This is the key of controlling our senses, the tongue. And if you give privilege and indulgence to the tongue, you will never be able to control other senses. This is the secret of controlling some. Right. What is nice for all beings is the time of awakening for the self control. And the time of awakening for all beings is the night for the interest that is saved. Purport. There are two classes of intelligent men. The one is intelligent in material activity for sense gratification. And the other is introspective and awake to the cultivation of self-realization. Activities of the introspective stage or thoughtful man are night for persons materially absorbed. Materialistic persons remain asleep during such a night due to their ignorance of self-realization. The introspective stage, however, remains alert in that, in that night of the materialistic man. Night means when People sleep, and day means when they are awake. This is the understanding of day and night. Oh. So, one, the materialistic person, they are sleeping in the matter of spiritual understanding. So, therefore, uh, the activities which we find in daytime of the materialistic person. Actually, that is night. Uh, for the spiritualistic person, uh, they see that these people, they got the facility of self-realization, this human form of life, how they are wasting by sleeping. Uh, and the materialistic person, they are saying, oh, this Krishna conscious young boy, uh, they have given up everything and they are chanting Hare Krishna. How nonsense they are sleeping. See, see? So in the vision of the materialistic person, these activities are night sleeping. And for the self-realist person, these activities are sleeping. See? Just the opposite. Uh, they are seeing the Krishna conscious person as wasting time. And the Krishna conscious person is seeing them as wasting time. This is the position. God. Such stages feel transcendental pleasure in the gradual advancement of spiritual culture, whereas the man in materialistic activity, being asleep or self of self realization, dreams of variety of sense pleasure. Yes, they are dreaming. Now we shall do this. Oh, next time I shall have this, next time I shall have this, next time I shall kill that enemy, next time I shall do this. They are planning like that. Hmm. Wow. Feeling sometimes happy and sometimes distressed in his sleeping condition. The introspective man is always indifferent to materialistic happiness and distress. The introspective man is after self realization and he knows very well. Suppose if I uh, do in future such and such big business, uh, such I can construct such big skyscraper house, but because he is introspective, intro introspective, he knows 
that what I shall do with all these things. As soon as I exit from the platform, everything remains here, and I take another form of body, begins another life. That is imperfect. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. 